Jesus. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. My Father, I thank you and I give you all the glory. Thank you, thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. I love you so much. You are my people. And I'm standing with you all the time. Welcome once again. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. The topic I want to talk to you is called Recover Your Things from Thieves, Roper, and the Criminals. We are going to look in the, in the Bible, the, the, the book from, we are, I'm going, we are going to look in the book, the book of John, the book of John 10, 6 to 10. We are going to look into the book of John 10, 6 to 10. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, Jesus was speaking, but the disciples, the people, they were with Jesus, they didn't understand what Jesus was saying. The Bible says, this figure of speech, Jesus spoke to them, but they did not understand what, what those things which was he had been saying to them. So Jesus said, verse 7, So he explained it to them. I tell you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. All who, who came before me were thieves and robbers. But the true sheep did not listen to them. Yes, I am the gate. Those who, who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely, and I will find good pressure. The thief's, the thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give, you, is to give them rich and satisfying life. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifice his life for the sheep. Hired man, hired hand will run when he sees a wolf. So Jesus is talking two things. He's talking two persons, two people. He's talking about thieves and robbers. Jesus is talking about thieves and robbers. Jesus is talking about criminals. God was the shepherd of Israel. In the book of Genesis 49, 24, Psalms 23, Psalms 78, 52 to 53, Isaiah 40, 10 to 11, spiritual and politician leaders of Israel were also shepherds of God's people. The flock of God, the flock of God, they were the shepherd. So the Bible is talking, Jesus is talking about thieves and robbers. And especially the Bible is saying that all who came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. Jesus was, was with thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. The sheep were disciples of Jesus. The disciples of Jesus did not hear, did not listen the criminals, they did not listen the thieves. So Jesus is the door, is in the door. Jesus is it, I am the door. I am the door. I am the door. 
Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who come, who came before me, are thieves and robbers. All those people who are following Jesus, they were thieves and robbers. Jesus was explaining when the word thieves, robbers, criminals, it is very serious. That's why Jesus was hanged together with the thieves, one on the right side and one on the left side. So thieves, they are bad. Criminals are bad. Thieves and robbers. A bad shepherd was like a thief and a robber. A bad shepherd, a bad pastor, they are like, like thieves and robbers. But here Jesus is talking physical and spiritual robber. They are a spiritual robber and a physical robber. They are a spiritual thieves and a spiritual, uh, uh, they are a physical thieves and a spiritual thieves. When, it, when your things has been stolen and you desire recover, and the arrest of the thieves. When your desire a recover of past financial losses, when you, you want to possess your possession, no matter the spiritual height from which you have fallen, God is very much interested in restoring you. If only you cry, if only you can cry unto him for mercy. Thieves have come to steal our finances. Thieves have come to take everything we have. Thieves, thieves they come spiritually. Thieves, they come, uh, they come physically. Now, Jesus is the, is the door. Jesus is, 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 is the door of the sheep. Jesus is there. Jesus is a deliverer. Jesus will, will, will make you to recover everything that has been stolen from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is, uh, is standing in the door. The thieves comes to steal. To take everything that you have. When your things has been stolen. And you, you desire recovery. And arrest of the thieves. When you desire a recover of past financial losses. Whether you want to possess your possession, no matter the spiritual height from which you have fallen, God is very much interested in restoring you. God is so much interested in restoring you, what the enemy has taken from you. The Bible says in, in the book of John 10.10, 10, his greatest desire is to destroy the image of God in man. He uses any method. The thief uses any method to come and steal from you. The, the, the work of the thief, he came to steal and to destroy and to kill. So the thief, his image is to destroy the, the God's man, the, the, the man of God. The, the thief is to destroy the work of the, the, the work of the, the man. The thief is to destroy what you have. He has, he has taken everything you have. The good news is that the good news is that what is killed, stolen, or destroyed by the enemy can be restored by God. Jesus said, I am, I am come that you might have life and, and life more abundantly. God has promised this. So Jesus has come to give you life, what the devil has stolen. Jesus has come to restore what the enemy has taken. Jesus has come to, to, to restore everything that the enemy, the, the, the devil, has taken from you. You will recover all things that the enemy has taken from you. You recover from thieves. You recover everything the enemy has stolen from you. All your business. Do you know 
that your business has been stolen from, by the thief. The thief was assigned by, by the enemy. The thief has been assigned to come and steal everything. The thief has taken your business. The robber came at night and robbed everything you have. They rob you your business, they rob your children, they rob your money, they take everything. But Jesus has come to give life and restore back what the enemy has taken from you. In the book of Joel 2 verse 25, the Bible says, To restore unto us all lost and worst years, everything lost to the devil will be restored by God. Job lost all, but in the end, everything was restored to him. Even in multifold, multiply fold, as you pray this prayer, God is going to restore. You will recover everything the enemy has stolen from you. You recover your business. You recover your children. You recover your money. You recover everything that has been robbed. You have been cheated. You have been robbed. Even your salary. Even at workplace. The Jesus will restore you back. This restoration is coming. You will recover everything the enemy has taken. You will recover your things that you have lost in the hands of the devil. In the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. The Bible says, in the book of Jeremiah, 112 then says the lord unto me thou as will see for i will haste my word to perform it so the lord, the word of god god himself will perform it he will restore restore and recover everything you have lost from the thieves robbers and criminals they will come in physical spiritually but jesus has come to give you life and give and restore back what it has been taken from you. Only if you cry to God and ask and arrest the thieves. Thieves have come to steal things from you. They come and steal your ministry. They take everything, your testimony. I was given this vision about the, how the thief comes and take everything from you. Right now, the thief. The, the, the devil has risked the powerful, power weapon called stealing from good things that people have. The shepherds, they, 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 they were called the leaders, traditions, they were called shepherds of God in Israel. The tradition, the leaders, the president we have, they are the shepherds because they watch over us. But they are thieves and criminals and, and robbers. So the Lord is against them. The punishment of a thief, a criminal, a robber is very hard. That's why they were crucifying them. That's why they were crucifying them. They were kneeling them on the cross, on the tree. They were killing them. If you are caught, the punishment is death sentences. If you restore, you will be asked to restore double or trip. So the thief is a bad, bad person. The Bible is, Jesus is talking and says, I see that you, these people, you leaders, all of you, you are criminals, you are thieves. That's what the Bible says. Jesus himself called them thieves and criminals and, and robbers. Because they are there to steal and rob and, and kill. Look at the one of his leaders called Judas Iscariot. He was a thief, a criminal. And it was stealing from his pocket, his, 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 his bag. So the Bible is talking very serious people here. A thief, a criminal, a, rob a robber. So this comes, they will come in the physical, they will come in the spiritual, but the Lord will destroy them. The Lord will arrest them. They will be arrested and be thrown to the hellfire. They will be caught and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible tells us that in the book of Joel 2, 25 to 26, the Bible says, And I will restore to you the ears that the lacos had hidden, the cacawam and the caterpillars, 
and the prime worm, my great army which is I send among you, and ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wonder tremendously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. My people shall never be ashamed. You will be never be ashamed. Everything that was stolen from you, everything was taken from you, you will recover them. You will recover them. It will be restored. Look at that scripture. It, the, the Lord is going to restore everything the enemy has taken and the ears that has been wasted. All this wicked and personality that has been around you, bad shepherds that have been robbing you, you give your tithe and offering, nothing is happening. They are after money, 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 money. They don't care about your spiritual. People are dying in your churches. Pastors that are called bad shepherds, thieves and criminals and, 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 and robbers. The Bible calls them like that. Check the Bible and see the, the bad shepherds. Jesus was warning them and they called them thieves and robbers and criminals. We, we are, um, um, yes, Lord, we thank you, Father. Let's look on the book of, uh, of Isaiah 41, verse 18 to 20. The Bible says, I will open levers in high places and fountains in the midst of the fire. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and dry land spring, spring, springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cylinder, the shanter, trees. That is what the Bible says. That they may see and know that consider and understand together that the Lord of the, the Lord the hand of the Lord has done this, and the whole one of Israel has created this. Read that Isaiah. You read Isaiah 18, Isaiah 41, 18 to 20, and see how God is going to open. Leave us in high places and fountains in the midst of in the midst of the fires. He will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. This is what the Bible says. The Lord Almighty is going to to bring blessings. Is going to release the blessings. Is going to you are going to recover everything that you have taken. Double portion is coming. You even trip even seven times because he is going to restore what the enemy has taken. It is high time, people of God. Yes, amen, and amen, my brother. Thank you so much, Donald. Thank you, DJ. You are, you are, I love you so much. Thank you, thank you for following me, and you have been so faithful and very good to follow us. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you so much. My dear Tresha, God bless you. DJ, thank you so much. Uh, is it uh, Allen? can't pronounce your name properly but you are so good thank you thank you so much thank you Kos Kosika uh Kosika or Gertrude are you Gertrude yes Gertrude I think you are you are Gertrude thank you so much I am using my cell phone because I don't see from the iPad that's why sometimes when you say something if I didn't look at the the I the, the cell phone I don't see what you are writing thank you thank you my friend thank you so much the Bible says you will recover. You will recover everything the enemy has taken. This is from the book of Joel. That is what it says. The Lord Almighty is going to restore them. What the carcass and the, and the worm and... Yes, Gertrude. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Uh, Kada. Oscar. Oscar. Thank you so much, Oscar. Love you, darling, so much. I love you so much. You see, the Lord is talking to you. He is going to restore... Is going to restore to you the ears that the locusts has eaten, the caca worms and the caterpillars. Those are the wicked and the evil serpents, bad serpents, evil, evil, evil people who have been stealing from you. They are calling cacas, they are calling caterpillars. Cata caterpillars are evil satanic priests, witchcraft, and the evil people that has come to steal from you. Please ask me a question. Yes. Thank you very much. I know that there are powers of darkness assigned by the thieves to come and steal from you. Yes, ask me. I'm here to help you. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are so good. 
We are, we are about to pray. You go ahead and ask the question. Yes, I do ask. I accept it. Let your dead judgment from heaven fall upon you and destroy you completely in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that let every demon that is resting against these prayers, let the judgment of God fall upon them and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The demons, you are a liar. You have been assigned to come and bring destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We, we have to pray to arrest the thieves. We have to pray and stop the thieves, criminals. We are going to attack them spiritually and physically in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we stand against the works of the enemy. We stand against the powers and rulers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord opened doors of opportunity to you through these prayers in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open doors of opportunities to you through these prayers in Jesus' name. What the enemy has taken from you, the Lord is going to store, to store you in the mighty name of Jesus. I am not going to, uh, to look at the question. You, you are delayed. You didn't ask the question. And uh, we, are, we need to pray. So let's pray. Don't worry about those criminals. Don't worry about the thieves and the criminals and the evil people. Don't worry about them. The word of God is against them. Judgment of God will fall upon them and they will be disgraced and exposed in Jesus' name. And very nasty and evil words from the mouth of the wicked, from the mouth of the criminals, it will, it will not stand. It will be wasted and be destroyed in Jesus' name. So don't concentrate on these prayers because you need restoration. You need Jesus to restore what the enemy has taken. You need Jesus to, to restore everything that the enemy has taken from you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, we thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. Don't worry, I will deal with them after the prayer. Lord, I thank you. Lord, open doors for opportunity to these people through these prayers. Lord, let God open good doors. Let God open good opportunities. Let God open business for you through these prayers. As the thief is going to be arrested and be thrown to, to, the, to the jail and be thrown to the hellfire, your business will be, will be open. Lord will restore back your business. Your job will be restored. Your marriage will be restored in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will be restored because the thief has assigned to come and steal your marriage. The thief has come to steal your marriage, to, to steal your business, to steal your jobs, to steal your money. Therefore, the, these prayers will open opportunities to, uh, to restore everything the enemy has taken from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command all evil and known forces organized against your life be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. I command all evil and known forces organization or organized against your life be scattered in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have prophesied to you anyone who is planning to steal your business, to steal your money, to steal your company, to steal your work, it is not going to stand. The whole my God has said that he has set a, 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 he has set he has, he, has, he has set a hook to hook them. The hook of God is running. He's going to a hook every thief, criminals that will come to steal your business and steal your, your finances and steal your, your, your husband and steal your marriage. The hook of God is running. It's going to, the, the Lord is going to hook them and throw them to the dry land where they will not have any help. When they are caught, they will not be escaped in Jesus' name. That says the Lord. The hook of God is going. Thieves, criminals, physically, spiritual, if you cannot repent, the hook of God is running. It's going to hook you. It's going to catch you. You will not go free. In fact, it started yesterday, Friday. I was sharing in our prayer about the same message but different one. I, I saw it since yesterday, yesterday, Friday. The hook of God is, is running now to catch the thieves. Thieves are going to be exposed. Criminals are going to, ex to be exposed. All these criminals, pastors, criminals, private criminals, all politicians, president, and all the wicked, 
the hook of God is, is, is out to catch them and, and throw them. Unless they repent and they cry to God, God will have mass of them. If they are not going to cry, the hook is there and watch how many politicians, how many pastors and, 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 and prophets are going to be exposed. They are going to be exposed and be, be, be found naked. This is the word of God, of, the, of, of God. I pray that all evil and known forces organization against your life, I command them to be scattered in the name of Jesus. I paralyze every activities of physical and spiritual parasites and the devils in your life. I command every activities of physical and spiritual parasite and the devils in your life in Jesus' name. Every spiritual, every physical and spiritual paras parasites and the devourers, devourers that come to eat and take away your stuff, I paralyze them, I destroy them and paralyze them. I bind them and lend them powerless in the name of Jesus. I pray that every physical and spiritual parasites and the devourers, every parasite, and the devourers, I command them to be destroyed and bind in Jesus' name. Power of denying you, you are due miracles. Receive the stone of fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Powers denying your miracles, powers denying your promotion, powers denying your due miracles. There is power denying your due miracles. They will stand and say, no, you are not going to, to get the miracle. These powers, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire, by thunder in Jesus' name. You need supernatural miracle. You need a miracle, God, because God has promised. He's going to restore. You are going to recover all your things, all your things from the thieves, from the robbers. Jesus is, is standing in the door. And the hook of God is already in, at work. Is going to catch them and they will return back everything they have taken from you. Therefore, I command the thief to, to stand still. I am sending the arrow of God to the heart of the thief and stay there permanent until they return everything they have taken from you in the name of Jesus. Everything the thieves have taken from you, I am sending the arrow of God to stay in their body until they release everything they have taken from you in the name of Jesus. This is spiritual warfare prayer. And we stand against the powers of darkness, powers of the thieves. I pray you recover all the ground that, that you have lost to the enemies. I pray that you will recover all the grounds that you have lost to the enemies. Everything you have lost to the enemies, years and times, your work, I pray that God will, will recover them. I pray you will recover them. Everything that you have lost, everything that you have lost to the enemy, you have been deceived, you have been lied for, but the Lord Almighty will deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of, I bind the spirit, I bind the spirit of depression, frustration, and, dis and, and, and isolation. I bind them. The spirit of depressed, the spirit of frustration, because the enemy has taken everything from you, the enemy has stolen everything from you, I, I bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. You will receive the spirit of happiness, the spirit of joy, because God is going to restore your health. God is going to restore everything the enemy has taken from you. Remember Kakapira and the and 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 Jesus is the gate, is standing at the door. And everything the enemy has taken, the Bible says, Jesus, God is going to restore him, restore them in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a big restoration coming on your way. Every surgeon perform necessary surgical operation in all the areas of your life. I pray that God, God, every, God, God will, 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 will do perform miracles, surgeon miracles. I pray, Heavenly Father, God in heaven, Heavenly Father, such on self of God, perform necessary such cooperation in every area of your life 
where you need, where you need surgeon, where you need operation, let every surgeon fall upon you and heal you and operate you, take you to the theater of heaven and operate you and heal you in Jesus' name. You will restore your, you will restore your health. Where you need operation, the surgeon of heaven will operate you and, and mold you and renew you in Jesus' name. I pray that God will heal you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, carry out the repairs that are, that are necessary in the life of these people, God. I pray that God Almighty, in the name of let God Almighty carry, carry the repairs that are necessary in your life. I decree, I decree aggressively. I decree by the power and authority in the name of Jesus. I decree by the power I decree and declare in the name of Jesus every damage that has done by the thieves and the criminals. I pray that God will repair in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command all the damage done to, you, to your life by the, by the criminals to be repaired in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that the enemy has done to your life, I pray that God will repair it in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Lord. Let all the parasites feeding on any area of your life be roasted in the name of Jesus. Yes, every parasite, every parasite that have been feeding on, on any area of you, evil, wicked, and personality, thieves and criminals, that has been feeding on you. I, I command them to be roasted in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I pray that God Almighty will repair every damage that the enemy has done to your life in Jesus' name. Fire of God, consume evil clock of the enemy that is working against your life, that is working against you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the fire of God, consume the evil clock of the enemy that is working against your life, that is working against you. The clock that the enemy is timing, like month end, when the month is almost, you are going to get your paycheck. The, the, the thieves come and steal your paycheck before you get it. When you get it, you don't see it. The money is gone. You have nothing. The, the, the clock, the calendar, they are waiting. When you are almost to get money, it's when problem will rise sickness they put you in debt you go to credit line you pour there you pour everywhere and you give it to them it is high time to stop them i am stopping every criminal thieves that make you to go to that uh uh, uh money 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 poor money money store is it money store money mat you call it money mat or money store where you the shop you go to pour because the bank cannot give you. Your credit is so bad. That is what the enemy sent you. And then he make, he make you to go to borrow and to give to him. He's a liar. I am stopping them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I command those loans to be cleared. The Lord is going to restore. You will have money to pay them and forget about it. Those credit, you will burn them and you set them fire. All those debts that you are owning. All your visa card and everything. I am going to pray to you to bring them. In fact, tomorrow, bring all your cards and put them near you. I will put them fire and destroy them in Jesus' name. God is going to restore everything the enemy has taken from you. Those party credit you have. If this is the work of the enemy, they send you to go and, 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 and get money. This money you don't pay, you don't get it. You use it, you give to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy them, I bind them, I render them powerless. Jesus was talking about the thieves. And the thieves come to steal. They are robbers and criminals. Therefore, I'm standing against them. I rebuke them and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Father will restore everything that, you have, that the enemy has taken from you. Thank you very much. God bless you. I have to stop here. We'll continue. We'll continue this topic until I finish what I want to, to, say, to share. God bless you so much, my friends. 
Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. May God Almighty restore what the enemy has taken from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Restoration is coming. You will no more go to Paul. You will be lender. You are the head. You are not the tail. You will lender. People will come to Paul from you. Not you to Paul anymore. I am going to stop that demon of following. So that God will bless you. Because our father is the owner of silver and gold. So you are the, the, your father is rich. Let the thieves come to Paul from you. Not you to go to there and, and, and give to them. I am going to put a stop for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. God bless you and have a nice time, people of God. This is your host, Prophetess Christine Isiki, saying bye-bye to you. Remember, we have our website, we have email, we have phone, our number, so you can reach us. If you need me to pray for your financial breakthrough, if you need me to pray for your restoration, anything you are, you are, you are, you are going through, I will stand with you. I will stand with you. Thank you, my dear sweet, sweet at Deborah. Pull out that website. www.overcomersdhministries.blogspot.ca We have our number. Our number you can see there in the screen. You can stop there and copy it. Uh, and also remember, my party day is coming on 20th of May. Uh, May we will be having the same time with our anniversary. We will be celebrating and rejoicing together. And our, peer, my, our box number is 5107 50, City Center, Brampton. So the, the address is there. You can stop it and copy it. And, and, and if you want to support this ministry, if you want to plant a seed to this ministry, God will bless you. Attach your hovering, especially this prayer when we are dealing with thieves and criminals. The Lord will honor your hovering and your tithe so that the thieves will not come to steal. They have been stealing everything from you. It is a high time to stop them. It is a high time. We are going, I'm going to prophetically speak to your spirit uh, to stop these thieves that have been assigned to come and steal. Remember the hook of God is on, on the world moving and soon you will see how many thieves are going to be exposed. How many criminals are going to be exposed. Thank you, thank you so much, my sweetheart. Yes, please show into this ministry. It is a wonderful ministry that will help you and it will open you to understand things of God. Thank you very much. Well, bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. I, I will come, but I don't know. But tomorrow, tomorrow, 8 o'clock, I'm on. I want to finish this topic. So invite your followers, come 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, a.m., 8 a.m. tomorrow. So God bless you so much and have a wonderful time. Thank you very much. Saying bye-bye to you. I love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. Thank you, thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm. <laughs>